The world is ours to explore, from hidden archaeological structures to impressive astronomical feats. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three recent scientific discoveries. Drone Finds 1,000-Year-Old Village We are continuously finding innovative ways to explore new places and terrain. One of the more modern developments in archaeological research is being able to use drones to capture images and share the view of places we have not been able to reach before. Back in 2013, a team of archaeologists managed to use a drone to reveal a village that has been estimated to be about 1,000 years old. The team sent a small drone to Blue Jay, a village that archaeologists first revealed in the 1970s. The village lies 43 miles south from Chaco Canyon in the northwest of New Mexico. This village is home to nearly 60 ancestral Puebloan houses that surround an area that was once a spring. Today, Blue Jay is somewhat in ruins. It is hidden behind various plants and parts are buried in sandstone blown down by cliffs. We have been able to find out a little about the ancient structures of this site through some excavations, though this drone mission revealed an awful lot more. Blue Jay received a visit from a small drone able to capture thermal infrared images. This let the team, quite literally, see what was hiding beneath the surface. The team revealed structures we have never seen before in a Native American settlement. Needless to say, this was a momentous discovery. Jesse Kasana, an archaeologist from the University of Arkansas, said, I was really pleased with the results. He then went on to explain that studies like this can show just how incredible drones or UAVs are in various fields of scientific research. This was not the first investigation of the site, with some excavations having taken place prior. However, the drone images both confirmed the presence of stone compounds we had identified and were already aware of, as well as showing us this new information. Once again, this is great news. The methods we have been using so far are seemingly reliable, and we now have new additional ways to confirm these stone structures without contradicting what we know so far. As with a great number of archaeological discoveries, the thermal images uncovered a lot more than the physical structures. We were also given a window into further cultural understanding. For a while now, Blue Jay has been considered somewhat unusual, a bit of an outlier compared to the surrounding villages. Typically, we expect to see some great houses or kivas, areas of public gatherings or ceremonies, though none of these trademark features of Chaco-era Pueblo sites were seen in Blue Jay. The thermal images show a dark circle in the wall of the plaza area. This means we can expect a wetter, colder soil here, which may be filling in spaces where the ceremonies, gatherings and alike events took place. We know there is an underground circular structure of some sort that had been missed when studying before. Not only can these thermal images show us areas of interest, but it also gives us a clear idea of where we can begin looking and prepare and plan a course of digging with direction in mind before any soil has even been taken up. Kasana said, Now that we know what household compounds look like in thermal imaging, we could use it to prospect for structures at other sites. This research method is not limited to this one area. The use of drones, thermal and infrared imaging are all invaluable to so many archaeological sites. The technology works because features like bricks or stone walls keep and release warmth in a different way that the soil that surrounds those features does. This means that even when structures are entirely buried, we can oftentimes view an outline of the structure using heat maps. Of course, the equipment is rather expensive and high-quality imaging devices are key. It's not a new idea to use thermal imaging. It is just simply an expensive and difficult process to initiate. What is even more complex is considering the expenses against the likelihood of crashing the drones. Kasana described it as not a question of if you'll crash it, but of when and how badly. There are issues such as hardware coming loose or software glitching, all of which can cause devastating losses to the equipment. Another hurdle to this research technique is the legality. The Federal Aviation Administration has to implement a series of rules and regulations dictating what is and is not allowed when flying these sorts of drones. 
There are issues of safety and the law, but hopefully it will be resolved to enough of a compromise that this revolutionary scientific method can still be used and bring all sorts of new discoveries. Saturn's moon Titan is cooking its own atmosphere. Compared to our one moon, some of the planets in our solar system are drowning in these natural satellites, with Saturn having 82 moons, 53 of which are confirmed. One of the ringed planet's moons is particularly interesting, however, catching the eyes of scientists time and time again. This time, it's Titan's thick atmosphere that has sparked discussion. Titan is Saturn's largest moon, and the dense atmosphere of the planet, largely made of nitrogen, seems to be the result of organic material seemingly baking in the moon's insides. There is plenty of interesting organic chemistry taking place on this moon, making it a prime spot to investigate potential alien life. Other than us here on Earth, Titan is the only body in our solar system that has a significant amount of liquid on its surface. Coupled with the complex molecules incorporating carbon makes this moon a possible location for some sort of life. Titan is the only moon in our solar system at least that has some sort of notable atmosphere and that has, of course, raised several questions. Scientists have wondered and theorized the source of this atmosphere for years, suggesting primarily that the ammonia ice from comets has somehow been converted into nitrogen. Although this still does not address the effects of complex organic material upon the atmosphere. The composition of Titan's atmosphere, as far as we can understand, does not align with the types of nitrogen and other elements we can find in comets. Furthermore, there is 5% of Titan's atmosphere that is made of methane, something else this theory does not take into consideration. Kelly Miller, a researcher at Southwest Research Institute of Boulder, Colorado, and the lead author of a new study, has led a team that is looking at data collected by the Rosetta spacecraft. This looked at the comet 67P, Churimov, Gerasimenko, and discovered that the comet was made up of 50% ice, 25% rock, and 25% organic material. It is plausible that these materials, which would have been present in the early formation of the solar system, could be the same materials that built Titan. Comets, and, as Miller refers to them, primitive bodies, can be described as leftover building blocks of the solar system that feed into bigger bodies we can still see today, such as Titan. Miller suggests the organic, rocky material that is more primitive would be found in the core of bodies like Titan. According to calculations carried out by Miller and her team, if the organic material were in the core of the Moon, then it would be able to produce gas not dissimilar to the atmosphere we know Titan to have today. The organic material combined with the thermal environment would result in a thick gas atmosphere. Of course, further research is necessary before we will be able to determine if this is accurate, though the theory gives us an explanation that makes sense given the information that we have to hand. NASA's X-ray telescope shows the remains of a star that exploded in the 17th century. The night sky is filled with stunning sights, from the shining stars to what is left behind from them. Now, NASA's new X-ray space telescope has taken its first image since its launch in December 2021, and the pictures are stunning. The X-ray telescope, Imagine X-ray Polymetry Explorer, otherwise known as IXPE, showed the electromagnetic afterglow of a supernova, a glow formed from the remains of a star that exploded in the 17th century. The name of the afterglow is Cassiopeia A. This site was formed from the shock waves following the explosion. This brought together the surrounding gas and rapidly increased the temperatures, accelerating cosmic ray particles and resulting in a cloud that is able to glow under X-ray light. Cassiopeia A is not news to us by any measure. We have been able to study it before, though the IXPE gives us a new insight into the phenomenon. It took a month even after the launch for the telescope to calibrate and adjust to the new environment, so these images, released in February 2022, are the first we have ever seen from IXPE. Cassiopeia A itself is a supernova gas cloud spanning 10 light-years in width. 
In the midst of this cloud somewhere, there is a super dense object, either a black hole or a neutron star, hiding away from when the star's core initially collapsed. The aim of the IXPE team is to eventually use the data retrieved from the telescope to build a map of polarized X-rays across Cassiopeia A. The new technology is truly promising and provides a whole new insight into what we thought we knew. The discoveries we can make each day are truly fascinating, from using new equipment or reinventing what we already have, to solving mysteries that have puzzled us for years. Science is constantly advancing and pushing our world forwards. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.